Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Condi photo setting using a SG3110 SG3110 um, is a printer we use here, it's a Rico printer. It's a little different from your 7000, your 7700, 3300, and your 5050. Condi photo settings are used normally they're used when there's not an option to apply an ICC profile in your digital imaging software. We have a setting or an alternative setting versus the Condi ICC setting that we would normally use if you were using Photoshop or Corel Draw. But we do have folks out there that do not have the ability to set up a Condi ICC setting where the profile sits in the application. There's no color management settings in some of the other programs. So in these situations we set up a Condi photo setting. So if you're ever asked to watch the video on setting up Condi photo, this is what I'm going to step you through. The 3110 is a little different in how we set it up using Condi photo. If you have a 7700, a 7000, 5050, or a 3300 Ricoh printer, look for the video using those printers on conditv.com. This will only only pertain to the 3110. So let's get started. First of all you have to have the profile and to install the profile you have to send an email to con I'm sorry support at condi.com requesting a profile. Our clients are entitled to a profile made here at Condi. We send you the profile, you save it to your desktop and once you have it you can right click on it and install profile it's as simple as that so if this were a 3110 you would right click on the profile which is saved from your desktop or onto your desktop sent to you from Condi and then left click on install once that's done and your drivers installed you're ready to configure to Condi photo this is Windows 7 PC there is a way to set it up for Mac so it's a little different for Mac, so make sure you look for the Mac video on Condi Photo Settings. This is PC Windows 7. This will work for Vista, XP, and Windows 2000 as well. 32 or 64 bit. Left click on your start menu. Go to, devi go to devices and printers or faxes and printers. Or go to your control panel and you can get to devices and printers or faxes and printers from there. I see devices and printers here, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to use the, the GX7700 as an example in this video. Again, this video will work for your 7000, your Ricoh 3300, your Ricoh 5050, and your Ricoh 7700. They, all four of those Ricoh printers look the same in the driver. The only difference is the profile. So right click on a Windows 7, you're going to go to Printer Properties, Vista, XP, Windows 2000, you'll go to Properties. I have Windows 7, I'm going to left click on Printer Properties. From here, I'm going to go to Color Management. XP people will not see Color Management again. Vista, Windows 7, you're going to see Color Management tab click there devices drop down find your 7700 if you do not see your 7700 profile here click add scroll down from where we installed it earlier in the first part of the video find your GX7700 profile in your list once you find it highlight it click OK You'll see it in your list here. Highlight it, set as default, left click on close. Now you're back to your properties dialog box. Click on advanced, click on start printing after last page is spooled. Once that's done, left click on your general tab. From your general tab, come down to the bottom, left click on preferences. This opens up printing preferences. Choose your paper type. It's going to be inkjet plain paper. I'm using a bypass tray. However, 
set the tray to whatever your default tray is that you want. This could be auto tray select is what norm normally we would use. Some people choose to print just from the bypass tray. For this video demonstration, I'm going to choose the auto tray select. Come down to user settings, click that. Come over to change, click that. From here, you're going to check the box that says use ICM. If you don't see that selected there, make sure that you're on optimized color here. Okay. Use ICM where it says ICM method by printer driver. Dithering is going to be automatic. Check use, use error diffusion. Go to miscellaneous. Check print as bitmap from the miscellaneous tab and then click OK. Come over to printer configuration. Make sure you've reduced you don't have this selected. By default it will be. If this is selected it's going to reduce your paper size to whatever it says here in this field and we don't want that to happen so make sure that's deselected. Adjust color density. Obtain Printer optimum value, click that. By default, all of these should say 5. Click OK. I recommend using maximum printable area. This gives you the maximum printable area on your media. Ricos will not print borderless, so choosing the maximum printable area gives you about a half an inch more side to side. So just go ahead and select that. Once that's done, go back to your setup. Click Save. Before you click Save, make sure you're, you've, you've chose a, a media size that you would typically use on a default day-to-day. -day. I have 13 by 19 because I have a bypass tray. If you don't have a bypass tray, if you normally print 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 17, make sure you choose your paper setting from your page settings. That's going to default your paper size. Okay, so if you want this to be 11 by 17, select it. That's going to be your default paper size. Go back to your setup, click Save, type in Condi Photo. Click OK. Says it already exists for me because I've already created this setting. That's OK. Do I want to override it? That's fine. Continue, yes. If you haven't created a Condi Photo setting, you won't see that pop up. Condi Photos here in your drop down. You can select it. Once that's selected, click Apply. Click OK. Apply OK all the way out. Close your printer folder. And that's how you set up a Condi Photo setting. Condi Photo settings are used when you have a digital imaging program that does not allow you to apply the ICC profile in the application. Make sure that you're running an application that you can mirror the image from because the Rico driver does not have a mirror option. So make sure you mirror your image in your application. Photoshop CorelDRAW users will likely use the Condi ICC setting unless you just prefer Condi Photo. If you have any questions about how to set up a Condi Photo setting or anything that pertains to our settings here, make sure you give us a call at Condi. Anyone in our support department would be happy to help. My name is Vicki. I'm with Condi System Support Department. Thank you for your time.